Hello. So, today I want to discuss Island, Orchard Island Capital. Orchard Island Capital. It's known as a REIT, a Real Estate Investment Trust. Real Estate Investment Trusts are obligated to disperse 90% of their gain in dividends so they don't get taxed. So when you give away 9% of your dividends, um, excuse me, I misspoke, at 90% of your gain in dividends, they have to pay out 90%, over 90% or of whatever they make, all their profits into dividends. So that's a good company to own, in my opinion. Any REIT, real estate, real, real estate investment trusts should be looked at very closely. If they can maintain their dividends, that will probably be a decent investment. In my particular case, I own over 70 shares of this one stock, ORC. ORC is the ticker symbol, the ticker symbol, and that's Orchard Island capital that's orchard island capital orc what they do is they make money on mortgage-backed securities they uh deal with fanny fanny may freddie mac that sort of thing so they make money off real estate investment trusts make money off mortgages some real estate investment trusts work with mortgages, others buy property. It's all a different mix. As long as it has something to do with real estate or financing of real estate, you can become um, a REIT, real, invest, real Estate Investment Trust, as far as my understanding goes. This one, I just looked at it. It's paying, right, currently, as of this upload, it is paying 12.96% a year based on um, yesterday's this is a Saturday yesterday closing price so if you buy it at yesterday's closing price um, you will get almost 13 percent 12.96 percent it has ebbs and flows now if you have a a broker such as Charles Schwab or Vanguard or whoever you choose to use, you can put in the price that you wish to buy it at. So if it's $6.02 today and you want it to go five ninety eight, for instance, because you want the yield to hit over 13%, however you want to do it, you can have a set purchase price that you want, but if it doesn't go to that price, you won't be able to buy it that day. It may take you a couple months. But if you just do what I do most of the time, most of the time I'll do a market, which means when I use the, well, it's not an app, but uh, if I use the app or if I use the um, online brokerage and I set the price, I can do that or I can just do market, which means as soon as I press the button, it tries to buy the stock. In less than a minute or like five seconds, you'll have your shares. So our ORC is a monthly. Now this particular stock pays at the end of the month. So the thing about this particular stock, you have to wait about a month, around a month. It could be 27 or 32 or 33 days, but around a month at the, um, the day, the last day that you can buy the stock and still get a dividend to the time that you get that dividend is roughly a 27 to 33 days, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. So about a month. And um, six and a half cents, 0 0.065 is the dividend, 0 0.065. And right now it's around $6.02 a share. So for every hundred dollars you put in, you get a uh, monthly dividend of roughly a dollar. 
It's about 1%. Well, it's a little higher because it's like 12.96%. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a dollar one or a dollar two cents per every dollar you put in. But it's higher than 12%, 1%, which is, is astonishing. It's phenomenal. There are other stocks that have much less of a dividend and a lot, much less of a percentage. But the reason I like ORC, I own over 70 shares. They're only six six dollars five fifty five five you know six thirty or six fifteen or whatever it is you can purchase it, and if the struck if the price goes up a little bit or down a little bit that's not so important. About one percent a month compounding that's good, and what I mean by compounding is that if you buy a stock, say you buy a hundred dollars worth of Orchard Island Capital. And they maintain the dividend for, say, a, a year. Okay, if they maintain the dividend for, say, a year, and you purchase the stock, $100 worth of stock, or $1,000 worth of stock, $10 worth of stock, whatever it is, that first month, you will get, um, at the end of that month, it buys stock at the end of the next month. So when that money comes in, and you, if you decide to just reinvest it into the same stock, which you can do. So you get 1% the first month. The second month, you get 1 point something percent. And then you get another. The next month, you get 1 point something percent. The dividend of the last time, buying more stock on this time, will increase the dividend by the end of the year. It will compound. It's interest on top of interest if you want to look at it that way, or dividend on top of dividend if you want to look at it that way. That's a decent way to look at it. You can, if you just did that, if you're 25 years or if you're 20 years old or 25 years old right now, and you bought a stock that gives you 12 or 13 percent annually, okay, it's not 10 years that you double your stock. If you just do the same reinvestment, it's, you know, 13%, 13, 26, 26 and 26 is 52. So less than nine years, about eight, seven and a half, eight years, nine years, you're, you're going to more than double your income. I mean, you're, you're going to more than double the shares that you own if you do dividend reinvestment. One share... We'll buy some one share pays and then 10 shares pay and then 100 shares pay and then you take that and purchase more say more of the stock with it it uh it's money on top of money on top of money which is good there's another way that you can make some money is if you took the stock say that pays orchard pays on the end of the month and if you use the dividend of the orchard and you bought another monthly stock that has an earlier cutoff date, at, you know, like if it was the 8th or 9th or whatever, and you have this money, this dividend, and you bought some shares of that other stock at the end, and then when that one pays, go back and buy more orchard, you're doing a much better job at compounding because you're not waiting the full month for it to... Um, compound if you find one thing that you can do is take the, st the dividend of one stock and purchase another stock sh that sh uh, is close to the day of its um, cutoff date the record date you want to buy stuff you want to buy using the dividend of one stock buy more stock close close to the to the record date and then when that stock pays go back and buy the first stock or another stock that pays that's a way that you can compound faster i've done that i bought in stock with the dividends that i just they come in the dividend will come in and i'll buy more of a stock either the same one or a different one depending on um, the situation at hand but orc orchard 
island capital. They deal in mortgage-backed securities from the federal government, such as uh, Ginny Mae, Freddie Mac, that type of thing. And since it's government-backed, since it's government-backed securities, you have a better chance of getting, uh, not getting stiffed because it's being backed by the United States government. So ORC, six and a half cents per share, and the shares are around six dollars. So you're getting about close to 13%. So over 1% a month of your money back. It doesn't take long to double your money at 13%. Seven years is not that bad. If you take $100 and you put it into a bank account and that bank account gives you 1% a year or half a percent a year, you're not making that much money. If you keep up with inflation, that would have been good. But if you're making a 12 and a half, 13% or 12.96% or 13% on your money, and it's taking you seven, you know, seven or eight years to double your money, that's pretty good. So you want to focus on the different stores, stocks. There are a number of stocks that I'm going to focus on. And I want to bring them one at a time to you. I could have brought in four different stocks to you right now. And they would have different paydays or the same payday and uh, different percentages. So at this point, I wanted to deal with Orchard Financial Capital, ORC. Because that's uh, the higher of the stocks that I have, one of the higher stocks I have, the higher dividend percentage-wise. Six and a half is not bad. Bee Juice Foods was 47 and a half cents. The problem with them was that they had a... Um, they were... BG Foods doesn't pay 13% doesn't pay 14%. It pays 5.9 or 6%, somewhere around 5.5%, 6.5%. But right now, the last time I checked, it was 5.9%, I believe, BG Foods. You say, well, why do you want to buy BG Foods? The quarterly income could be used, when I get the income, the 47.5 cents, if I own 10 shares, 100 shares, then I could take that amount of money and purchase the other stock, which was Orchard Capital. And then when Orchard Capital pays out, I can either buy BG Foods, which I wouldn't do if BG Foods just bought stock for me. I would wait closer to the record date. And at that point, I would want to put money um, right before the record date on BG Foods, and I might do it from ORC or any one of my other stocks that pays just before the record date.